Good day, everybody. My name is Andrea Cimadoro. I'm the National Development Manager for Cooling System here in Australia. Welcome to today's webinar. The title of today's webinar is The Guardian Angel. So let's talk about that. So what is the Guardian Angel? It's a funny name. Everybody could be excited about that. But uh, clearly, it's something connected to an industrial gearbox. But I won't want to spoil you. I, I want to just tell you what we're going to talk about. So first of all, we're going to talk about why hydraulic system and mechanical machinery fail. Then we talk about IDAC expertise in fluid science. We feel that IDAC is, let's say, the expert in, in when it comes to fluid and fluid condition. Then we talk about the Guardian engine. And as you can see in the, in the content, protection, monitoring, maintaining, predicting, that's what a good angel can do. So last but not least, we'll talk about industry example. So let's rock and roll, stay with me, It'll be nice and exciting. So why hydraulic system and mechanical machinery fail? Big question and interesting question, everyday question. Well, we choose to talk about an hydraulic system in parallel with a human body, because the human body is, especially in this year, we are reconsidering the human body. we got something that is upsetting our human body. So nothing better than that. Let's talk. we got a pump which on an hydraulic system, which is our heart in the human body. we got the filter, which is our kidney. Um, we got our brain and uh, last but not least we got our blood the oil so keep in mind the oil keep in mind the, the connection with the blood because we're going to talk more and more about that so stick with the blood for me for a sec why we have to stick to the blood we have to stick to the blood because 70 percent of the hydraulic system failure are caused by oil contamination it's true it's proven we can back up with data so the oil contamination caused the system to fail. And indirectly, it's clearly that the condition of the oil basically give you the system performance. If the oil is bad, the system will not perform. If the oil is good, the system will be perform. Sounds simple, but it's not that simple. So Mr. Keen, our managing director of Australia and New Zealand, wrote a nice editorial called the Project 300. So the project in the under aim to increase the full performance life of an hydraulic oil in the system, in any system, uh, by 300%. So that's why the project 300. So 300% means increase this life by three times. It's an interesting editorial, and I, I, I encourage you all to go on our webpage and have a read. But it definitely gives us the pitch. It's even giving us the idea. So that means... There is a way, it's challenging, but it's possible to extend, to triple the lifetime of the oil. So stick with that, stick with the oil, stick with the fact that we can triple the lifetime where we are going. Well, I'm going to tell you where we are going. So let's talk about the, I call it the spiral of death or the spiral of, of destruction. So we got a system, mechanical, hydraulical, we got oil on into the system and then something in the system change or something in the system alter the chemistry of the oil. So what happened is that by doing that, the oil change his optimal condition. It's far, it start to drift from his optimal condition, which is when it's new or when it's conditioned, when it's monitored. So something is drifting is to his sweet spot. Then what create that is it create eventually a change in particle count and then changing in particle count create excessive vibration. Excessive vibration, it's linked to noise. Excessive noise create a component failure. Maybe, you know, we're talking today about gearbox, maybe a gear fail or, a, or something jam, and then eventually machine shut down. Okay, so we need to simplify to get everybody on board on this concept. So what is upsetting this oil? What is upsetting the optimal condition of the oil? Well, three major enemy, air, solid, and water. Let's go back, erase and rewind. Let's talk about air. Well, in any drum of oil that you buy, there is already 10% of air in the volume of the oil. So it's said for everybody that doesn't know, but when you buy a drum of oil, you also pay for the air that is inside. 
And so that's the oil is already there. It's already in the uh, in the oil. It's already on your gearbox. And and by moving and and splashing and and so forth, you alter, you play with this air, and and you can create you know foaming and things like that. The second thing is solid. What is the solid things that upset my condition of the oil? Well, any external agent. It can be sand. It can be dust. It can be part of a mechanism of the machine that, in the normal wear and tear, creates some some residual, creates some solid parts. And last but not least, the water. Again, where is the water? Well, the water is in the air by nature. Humidity, uh, moisture. It, it's already in the air. So those are the three enemies that change the condition of the oil. And I'm glad to say that IDAC has got component and system and subsystem that can take care of all these things and can definitely monitor the quantity of these three enemies. Having said that, what is happening when there is a sudden change in the system? So in a system where there is no monitoring at all, uh, forget about the guardian angel because that's let's say an evolution of that but in an, any system there is no no monitoring at all what you are left is when something happened it's too late in the sense that you don't know when it happened you you have no monitoring you have no real time data to do any kind of strategy to do any kind of form so what's the and what you end up with is you end up throwing money at the machine, start a what if scenario, start a troubleshooting process with the goal of finding what is wrong and what's happened. So to go back to our link with the human body, it's like you are constantly at the hospital. And yes, you can start changing oil, but changing oil or flushing oil or doing these things, it's expensive. Imagine on a big gearbox how many liters of oil you've got. So be careful because the sudden change or the, the notification of the sudden change can change your maintenance strategy, definitely. So let's talk about a little bit the fluid behind this, this oil and why IDAC is an expertise. Well, we, we got our colleague in Germany in the Fluid Care Center and I love the picture of, of this uh, woman looking at the oil because for them it's clear that the oil tells you something. So with the condition of the oil and through all the type of tests and data they can extract from the oil, they can tell you a lot. They can tell you what's the life of the oil, what happened in the oil, who is the contaminant, how much residual lifetime you got in the oil. So we, with, with some data, Without data, it's hard, but with, with some data that we can collect from your system, these people, these tribologists, these high evolutive PhD people can tell you everything. So again, back in the oil, we're still there, okay? But it's enough that we care about the oil. No, it's not enough. We, we need a strategy and we need a maintenance strategy. So let's say the, the basic the basic type is the reactive, but it's also the most expensive one. Something break and then I need to go and fix it. And, you know, like we say before, it's always at the hospital. You know, I call it always at the hospital. So the reactive is a little bit the, the most the most time and money consuming. So with the data of the reactive, you can do the preventative, but it's almost like throwing a stone in the sky because you going in another war is like preparing for a battle that maybe is going to happen maybe is not going to happen so again not really let's say a little bit cheaper than the reactive but still because you are creating a strategy based on something that negative that happened before in the reactive so it's not really a scientific type of things. Yeah, you say, okay, because I got this component that broke at so many hours, I predict that it's going to broke at so many hours, such and such. But again, it's nothing, it's nothing sure and it's nothing scientific. So at IDAC, we love predictive. We are the predictive sustainer, the predictive people, let's say. But of course, predictive need a little bit of data to do a predictive maintenance. So let's talk about that a little bit. So we, we say, okay, focus on the oil, but 
you need to have a strategy. And the strategy is IDAC predictive maintenance strategy. So this strategy save in maintenance cost. We target the root cause of the failure, but not in an afterthought, but we have a system that tells you exactly when something changed. And so you can go back and trace it back. And it's an instant flag. Look, something has changed. And then we are not scrapping at all the use of the lab, but we only use the lab when there is a change, when there is something that has changed from green, 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 suddenly red into your system. So of course we still use the lab, but we would like to move and you know and and, and push the concept to the online rather than the on site. So at the moment a lot of oil uh, sampling and oil patch test uh, is done on site. We can we can eliminate all that uh, and do more online monitoring, online checking and then only when the event or the negative event happen make a sample and send it to the lab. And like that, we also avoid that so many samples, so many things, you can also have false positive, you know? So we, in this DNA, we hear a lot about false positive, you know? So less test, less lab, but only using the, this higher level way when something happens. So this is the IDAC predictive maintenance strategy. And now, it's clear that we are focusing on the oil. It's clear that we have to isolate the system from any bad things that happen to it. It's clear what is the maintenance strategy. So if it's clear for everybody, these three points, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we create the guardian angel. And what it is the guardian angel? The, the guardian angel is actually a special boy, a special device, part of our standard condition monitoring expert series. What is different from the other condition monitoring? Well, the difference is, is, is actually in the wording. There is a wording game. So the guardian angel condition and monitor the system constantly. So the other condition monitoring system, they monitor the condition, but they're not conditioning the system. So that's the big difference. The angel condition the system in real time and they monitor it in real time. And let's go and talk about component by component so that it's more clear, this definition from my side. So, first of all, the angel is 100% isolated from any external factor. The first component, the IDAC breather bag, it's maybe the most important one because he is enable us to isolate the gearbox in this case or any other hydraulic system that we have an angel attached to from any external agent. So there's no way that water can get in. There is no way the moisture can get in. There's no way that contaminant, external contaminant can get in. So number one point of the guardian angel, it's an angel because it's 100% isolated from the environment, from the bad boys. Second thing, it control the temperature the viscosity and the filtration, so the particle of the fluid, of the oil. So it's 100% conditioning. It's, it's filtering real time. It's reducing the temperature real time. That's the biggest point of the angel. The third one is, yes, we got 100% ISO count online. We can check the, the ISO, we can check the moisture, the saturation, we can we control the oil, we control the status of the oil, and we control it even deeper and deeper with the, our IDAC HLB, the IDAC lab. So the IDAC lab uh, can monitor the electric cost and, and can monitor conductivity and can eventually give the lifespan of the, of the oil if this data, together with temperature, together with all the other things that the angel gather, to high people can give the, the predictive, what we are chasing it. Last but not least, the connection. So we have 100% real-time monitoring. That means that, that we can select how many sample or how many value we want per minute, per hour, per day, but it's monitoring, okay? The angel is monitoring and is using IDAC CSI, IDAC HBOC, Gateway, and he collect all this data. And uh, now I think the question that everybody's got is, where are these data going? Where, where, what I do, Andrea, with, with this data? Well, 
the the guardian angel is definitely an industry 4.0 booster okay so it's an industry 4.0 uh, 4.0 elevator so you gather all this data and it can give it to you in a lot of different forms so you can do local local analysis it can go through the normal SCADA system. It can go to the normal uh, LAN, the mine LAN, with a normal RJ45 cable. It can go Wi-Fi on your phone, on your tablet. It can go to the cloud. And the architect is basically a decision that we can make on a one-to-one -one basis with the client. And we also have cloud software like our CM expert, where we can monitor the things, we can monitor the parameter and we can start to do a little bit of, of prediction. So I want to focus a little bit on industry example, where we are coming from as IDAC. Well, we definitely have 55 years of IDAC experience in hydraulics and this type of things. And I like to show you three nice examples of the same component that are on the guardian angel. Uh, use it and combine it in a different way, which we have uh, for years and years used in the power generation, in the wind turbine sector, in the marine sector. So three major sectors where the, the IDAC component, the IDAC prediction, the IDAC way of, uh, let's say, a maintenance philosophy has played a vital role. And you can understand that, you know, both in, in all this sector, wind turbine, power generation, or marine, we're talking about big asset for huge value. So we're really proud. There's nothing wrong to say that we, we're really proud of that. And because we are proud, we want to continue to serve any of this sector. And we want to bring to, let's say, the mining industry, to the gearbox industry, what we have learned from this other sector. So it's not, let's say, something new. It's not something we don't know about it. It's something that we have been developing and perfecting it and, and refining and refining and refined for a long time. So we want to bring this technology, we want to bring this philosophy of maintenance into sector where at the moment they're not at that level yet. So stop of talking for a moment, too much. Let's do a, a flyover. A guardian angel. So that's a that's a small gearbox of 200 kilowatt, and that's how the guardian angel look like. And uh, I like to do this 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 flyby, this low pass, so that people can see a little bit how it looks like. Um, the screen that are at the top with the keyboard are just for a local display. Uh, not necessarily you need it, but in this unit we we want to show our Flumos software, software developed by IDAC that uh, you can uh, basically set all your parameter, you can set the flag, and, and you can monitor what's what's going on in, in a system. Uh, Flumos run easily on, on Windows PC, on Android device, tablet, and so on. The last uh, message that I would like to express in my, uh, in my webinar is that uh, Australia is a country of infinite resources. You know, we got lithium, we got iron ore, we got gold, we got gas, we got a lot of things. But there's one thing that is not infinite as a resource in Australia, and is the, the human people. So we don't have infinite skilled people. So uh, one of the pitch of the guardian angel or any 100% uh, real-time conditioning and monitoring system designed by IDAC is actually to use the expertise, to use this workforce in a best way, to use this workforce in a more important task in a more important way rather than just spending time and money on oil sampling or on things like that so we are we are 100 percent persuasive at idac that uh, the people is not an infinite resource especially educated people so therefore we we have created the angel because we want to use these people at their best we want to use these people where they can do their job properly and remove some task that can be boring, that can be redundant, that can be done nowadays by a sensor, a, a computer and a software and, and the other cloud. So I hope you find this uh, webinar interesting and, and exciting. It's all for today. So bye for now and until the next webinar. <music>